This two weeks on Gorilla Tag. Yes, I was gone again. First thing I want to say real quick is that join my Discord server link in the description, please. Because at 100 members, I'm doing a 10,000 Shiny Rock challenge where you can win 10,000 Shiny Rock. So join my Discord server because we're really close to 100 members. We're like 30 away. But so join now. Anyway, first of all, this Gorilla Tag YouTuber faked their death. Her name is Tropic GT. And apparently, what happened is they posted a YouTube short saying that they had died and stuff like that so and everyone believed them obviously and there was a bunch of community posts about it from big youtubers and then they just kept posting more videos and people were getting suspicious and then they eventually made a community post saying that it was all fake and the community post stated that it was his brother tropic's brother that made all those videos because tropic was at summer camp and tropic's brother made the videos because tropic's brother was mad at tropic for breaking up him and his girlfriend for trop like tropic broke up his brother and his brother's girlfriend they broke up. I don't know when this was, but like Tropic or Tropic's brother was mad at Tropic for that. So made the videos and said that he was going to delete the channel and everything like that. So yeah, that's it, it's crazy. And then apparently there's some leaked screenshot that I don't have access to. Apparently someone got in a DM, I think like Tropic's friend or something. They said, Tropic, we know you, it's you. It's not your brother. And he's like, yeah, you got me. So Tropic just faked their death and deleted the whole channel. I think he had like 2000 subscribers. So yeah, it's kind of insane. I um, I probably didn't do the best of explaining it. There's better videos, like, out there. If you look up Tropic GT Fake Death or something like that, there's better videos out there. But, yeah, it's just honestly insane. This happened, like, a, a week and a half ago. And I just had to talk about it because it's, it's crazy. First, we had Biscuit faking cancer. Then we had Monkey faking something. I don't remember what it was. Now we have Tropic faking death. Like, bro, this community is cooked. The next thing is that apparently Fadu VR tried suing or wanted to sue boom vr okay so apparently what happened is that boom was gonna edit for fadu but every time boom edits for someone he has a collab with them on his channel so boom and fadu posted a video or like did a collab boom posted the video and fadu had like said yeah i'm fine to be in the video but then fadu just randomly switched up and said i don't want to be in the video and was gonna sue um boom for defamation or whatever it was because he fadu changed it and didn't consent to be in the video after it was posted he consented to it which is it's weird and also Boom was editing a video for Fadu, and Fadu had already paid Boom and was just waiting for the video. But then one of Boom's friends, like very good friends, died in a car crash. So Boom just wanted to like recover and just take a little bit of a break and like yeah stuff like that because he was just in, he was just falling apart. Deck, I guess. Uh, so but Fadu said no, I need this video out now, so keep editing. So then Boom had one of his friends edit the video, and then Fadu was like, okay, I don't want the video anymore, whatever. And the video was already half done, so Boom paid back Fadu about 50% of what Fadu had. Paid paid boom for the video because the video was half done paypal t took a little bit of tax or like a fee off of the transaction so fadu thought boom was scamming him and it's just like crazy yeah it's just honestly insane how fadu did that he's he's not very good in this community and he, yeah he's just it's just messed up this community is. but yeah I, it, I don't know how accurate that information i just said was um if you want to know more about it because i didn't say everything very well go to um pines and iden's channel because they have it in their community post. Go to their community post and you can read all about it. It's honestly insane. You can see some screenshots too. It's crazy. Damon Curly posted a video on Elliot's VR game, a Primal Fear update, and he posted a video with Creecraft, the super, the famous Roblox YouTuber. Like what? Roblox and Gorilla Tag aren't the same game. Even though people think Gorilla Tag is Roblox a lot. We never saw this collab coming. So basically, Jam and Curly just taught Creecraft how to play Gorilla Tag, and it was honestly pretty uh, quite a funny video. But like, this is just a collab we never saw coming. It's so it's it's so funny. Cannon posted a video on the Gorilla Tag update that came out about a week ago, and he got the Illustrator badge. Let's go! Let's go, Canine. Good job. You deserved it. Go, Canine finally got it. He should have gotten it in the first wave, but you know, he got it now. It's all good. Everything's fine. But yeah, good job, Canine. Elliot finally posted a video and it was on Yeep's Hide and Seek. I still have never played that game, but you know, but yeah, Elliot finally posted a video, which is insane. It's been way too long. <laughs> VMT posted a video on Brick Tag and how he made it and stuff and what all happened to it and like all the stuff about it, which was actually very interesting. I, I suggest you go watch it. And he also played Elliot's game on the Impossible Parkour mode, which was pretty cool. DTT Pig made a video on Grab, which is like, uh, 
VR game where you just grab stuff and move around. And yeah, I've played that game once before. It's actually a pretty fun game. And lastly, I want to talk about the new Girl Tag update because it came out over a week ago. But anyway, the update added an enchant book which allowed you to like, it's like an enchant, I don't know how it works really because I didn't get it. But like, it brings you to a game that's $14 and if you play the game for two hours, you get the book in Girl Tag. But I didn't want it because the game looks pretty boring to me. But it was honestly quite interesting. They've never done anything like this before. It was pretty cool. Also, the and, and so the update just added back the caves flashback which just brought back all the caves cosmetics from the caves update revamp whatever you want to call it but yeah that's all for this week on girl tag again join my Discord server link in the description if you want a chance to win 10,000 shiny rocks if i missed anything let me know in the comments below uh like and subscribe because we're almost to 13k pretty close we just hit 12k it's insane we are growing so fast but yeah um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye ah!